Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be going through if Fat Now is going to be a PayPal killer. Now, I am invested in PayPal. Um, this isn't really what that's about. Um, it's going to be about, uh, you know, whether this new um, payment system is going to eat PayPal's lunch. So I know most of you guys probably don't know how um, Fat Now works. I think I might have a very good idea. And that is because um, in Singapore, we have something called pay now so it's literally the same name um, and i am very sure it's going to be the either the exact same system or it's going to be slightly built up from that and um you know to show you guys how pay now works and why i think it might affect um paypal's business is right here in this shot so this guy is pressing um, trying to pay for something and he pressed pay now right and um, he's going to open the uh, camera app on his phone and it's going to scan a QR code here. And, you know, what he's going to do is that he's just going to press one button and the transaction is done, right? So I'm pretty sure you get the idea of how this could potentially disrupt PayPal, um, especially with the Venmo system. And, uh, you know, that you can also use PayPal to pay via phone numbers and uh, you can send a, a link to pay as well. And... That could really you know, affect Venmo's um, mode there because I think it's exactly the same system. Um, I might be a little bit wrong there, but if I if I'm getting the right idea, I think you know that is basically what the Venmo system is, right? But you know, I don't really think this is necessarily going to kill PayPal, and the reason is because you know PayPal does way more than just transactions. PayPal does online payments, e-commerce integration. Um, peer to peer, which is, you know, the whatever Fed now is probably going to interfere with. Um, international transactions, which is one thing the Fed now system and I think the, um, I'm going to call it the now system has not implemented yet. We cannot use that pay now or Fed now system out of the country. Now, there are some, um, ASEAN countries around Singapore trying to implement the same thing, but we are not sure, um, when that is going to happen. Uh, so next up, we have online invoicing which I'm not sure if uh, PayPal can actually, um, uh, no, I'm not sure if Fat now can actually do that. I do think PayPal has the moat on businesses and Fat now definitely has the moat on um, merchant to customer and, um, you know, people to people, so peer to peer um, payments. And next up, we have subscription services. So um, this is one thing that um, the Fat now might be able to compete with. But um, I don't really think they have the incentive to. I think um, what their main focus is, is peer-to-peer -peer transactions and just trying to get rid of cash. And next up, they have um, merchant services. So as you can see um, in that shot there, um, the merchants can just put up a QR code and um, you know using um, Fat now people can just scan and pay it. So that is the merchant to customer relationship. And uh, right now, um, okay, number eight, we have the mobile app for PayPal, which um, obviously Fat now is going to use a mobile app. So, um, you know, there is one competition there. And next up, we have the digital wallet, which um, Fat now is probably going to connect to your banks in America. And, you know, once they uh, do that, uh, it will technically be a digital wallet, but I, I'm not sure if that is, you know, the same thing. Um, it's basically just going to connect to your bank. So yeah, I guess it's almost the same thing, right? Um, next up, tradable donations. Um, you know, that's just their tax write-off. Um, and, you know, number 11, we have buyer and seller protection, which this, guys, is going to be very, very important for PayPal. And it's one of the things they can double down on. Because right now, if you use PayNow or, um, you know, in the future, FedNow in the US, um, if you send the money to the wrong person, you are screwed because um, right now they don't actually have a system in place to reverse their transactions. The banks can reverse the transactions. So that is one um, very, very huge downside about pay now and hopefully not in fact now. Um, hopefully they can implement something um, that will help with that buyer and seller protection there. And number 12, we have currency conversion, which um, Fed now and Pay now is probably going to just be um, local. So um, Pay now, um, I mean PayPal, will still have the uh, you know uh, modes there, and they will still have businesses there. 
And number 13, uh, One Touch Checkout. Um, obviously, this is competing with um, Visa as well as um, uh, Fat Now, and uh, you know PayPal is also in that One Touch Checkout. Um, I, I, you know, it's a competition. I don't think they have the mode there, but uh, you know, it is something that um, we can look out for. And number fourteen is credit and financing, which is not the job of Fat Now. Um, I think um, that is you know the job of the banks. And uh, it looks like PayPal is trying to get into that as well. Um, so, you know, Fed now um, and PayPal is, uh, it, it competes in some sectors, but PayPal still has some business uh, uh, structures that can they can improve on and, they, you know, they can still secure a moat. So, no, I don't think Fed now is going to kill PayPal. I just think that... Um, you know, PayPal might uh, lose out a little bit on maybe Venmo. And I'm not even sure how much they get from Venmo. I'm, uh, you know, I don't think it's that much. But, you know, one thing PayPal can really, really double down on is the buyer and seller protection. Now, I know they already have that, but, um, you know, maybe they can do something more or maybe they can add a few more products um, on that as well. And, uh, you know, um, the fact now, I don't think it's going to have a lot of fees. I think um, they might outcompete um, PayPal in that way, and it might cause PayPal to um, drop their fees a little bit. Which right now their fees seem a little bit higher. I do notice that, and um, you know, Fat Now is actually going to be good for a lot of you um, guys in America because um, you know I don't think um, Fat Now is going to be a a very high fee product. I think it's a um, public service. So I don't think they're going to charge you quite uh, a lot on um, Fed now. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'm probably going to be posting this on Saturday or Sunday. Um, hopefully it came out um, good enough because I don't script these videos. I just make you know three slides in the last 10 minutes and I just try to talk over it. So with that being said, hopefully you guys, you, um, you, you guys know a little bit more about Fed now and how maybe it can work and you know why it's not really a paypal killer and with that being said thank you guys for watching stay safe out there um and like and subscribe